it's isn't it amazing that if we really trust and we open up and we really do, like Ricky was saying, hand it over to God and say, I don't know how this is going to work, how I'm going to do it. My best plans have never brought me the peace and happiness. My best imaginings, all my so-called creative imaginings of how could I finagle that or how could I work that, it just, it sends you like in a tizzy because it still is this belief that somehow we're, ch we're in charge of our own awakening. And in The Course in Miracles, Jesus says these beautiful lines, You cannot wake yourself, but you can allow yourself to be awakened. Wow! You cannot wake yourself, but you can allow yourself to be awakened. And how, if you believe you're a small identity, if you're a little personality, a little body identity, how could you possibly really, really believe that you have the know-how to get out of a dream that you believe in and that you would say the ego made up so tricky with so many entanglements and so much complexity that you would be more likely to get depressed or be suicidal than you would actually to have hope that you could escape from the dream. So, that is a big line. You cannot wake yourself, but you can allow yourself to be awakened. It sounds like our theme that we were talking about last night about allowance and permission. Nobody talked to us about allowance and permission. Permission. We, we heard about grades, we heard about survival, we heard about becoming bigger, better, more, becoming the best, you know, and all these things in the world, but nobody was there saying, just give yourself permission to let it all go, you know. Just give yourself the allowance to be in touch with your feelings, and then to be lifted up and carried beyond whatever you are thinking and perceiving. You know, you can't, Einstein was talking about, you, you can't solve a problem from within the problem. You literally have to go beyond the problem for the solution. And that's what we call faith in the Spirit. When we cry out, something in our heart just cries out, help me, really, I mean it. I'm really sincere now for that help. And then we call it divine intervention, we call it the, the Spirit is able to use the symbols to reach you wherever you believe you are, whatever you believe you are, to use those symbols, but we still have to have the, the faith and the trust to kind of get out of the driver's seat to believe that we're the ones that are personally in charge of our waking up from this dream. That's the frustration. No matter how ingenious we become, no matter how our skill level rises up, and even no matter how much recognition we get from the world with our achievements, with awards or with skills and abilities, it's still, there's still a sense of depression until we finally surrender, until we finally kind of symbolically get down on our knees and say, I will step back and let you lead the way. You show me. You guide me. Let me not try to inform you, Spirit, on the ways. You inform me. We finally are willing to be instructed, yes, intuitively instructed in the awakening process. There's a part in the Course, one of the most beautiful lines in the Course is, Resign now as your own teacher. Resign! Hand in your resignation. 